Hello Plymouth, Luke Pollard here. I'm running for re-election as your Member of Parliament. Polling day on December the 12th is likely to be really wet and cold. That's why I'm encouraging people to apply for a postal vote. I've got the postal vote application form here and I'm going to fill it out to show you how easy it is to apply for a postal vote. Postal votes mean that you get two weeks instead of one day to vote. And if you've got childcare responsibilities, work commitments, or maybe out of Plymouth on December the 12th, it means you still have your vote counted in the election. I'm applying for a postal vote. I've had one in the past, it makes voting much easier. So it asks you for your personal details. So your name, Pollard, know that one. Your first name, Luke. My address. Uh, your phone number and an email address. Then it will ask you how long you want a postal vote for. If you tick the box until further notice, that means for every uh, local election or national election, including any referendums if we have one, you'll automatically be sent your ballot paper about two weeks in advance, so you won't need to go to the polling station on the day of that election. So I'm ticking until further notice. If you'd like your ballot paper sent to a different address, there's a box on the form that means that you can fill in. For example, if you're away studying in a different part of the country, or if you are knowing that you'll be away with work, uh, you can fill in the details and that ballot paper will be sent to that address that you specify here. Now, the most important bit, where you fill in your date of birth and your declaration. These are the details that the City Council will use to check it's you when they receive your application and when you send back your postal vote. So make sure you put in your date of birth and then sign within the box. There we go. And finally, you put today's date at the bottom. And that's it. All my details are filled in. Now, Plymouth City Council are doing something brilliant, which we haven't had in the past. Instead of putting it in a free post envelope and sending it to the City Council or using your own envelope with a stamp on, you can now take a picture of your postal vote form and you can send it direct to the electoral returning officer at Plymouth City Council, ero at plymouth.gov.uk. That makes it much easier. I'm going to be putting this one in the post though so I can show you how this works. Completed form in a free post envelope that you can get from the City Council or from the Labour Party. Sign it up. Postal vote application done. All I have to do now is stick it in a post box and the City Council will send me confirmation I've got a postal vote and my ballot paper two weeks in advance. And you can use it to vote Labour. Thanks very much, Plymouth. See you soon.